Welcome back to my channel. It's Leah with Skin Beautiful Rx. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I know my background looks a little different. I, if you guys don't know, I'm Leah. I own Skin Beautiful Rx. I am based in Columbus, Ohio. I'm an esthetician and I am in the process of opening our first spa and it's a weekend. I usually do a video a week and it's just been so crazy busy because we didn't want to interrupt business that we've been working every weekend. So unfortunately I've missed like two videos last month and I just did not want to be away anymore. Like I miss you guys so much. So I brought a dress with me today i threw on a jacket i completely forgot to bring makeup i forgot to bring any lighting so we're just rolling with it and doing an impromptu video because i just miss you guys and i had some really great questions over the last few weeks and i thought today would be the perfect video for you guys and for me to kind of go over all of these manufacturer back orders product questions and just kind of give you a little glimpse of what my nights and weekends look like <laughs> so there have been so many manufacturing back orders due to ingredient shortages and it's been across all brands that we carry so i really wanted to go over like while you know we can't get one product in what's a very similar product or what's a product that you can use in place of it in the meantime that you'll love equally and hey you may not even want to switch back once it comes back in but don't worry you know all of our products once the manufacturers can make them and produce them and they come into our warehouse we will have them out to you guys and i know it's just a waiting game and it totally sucks for us too but we don't want your skin to notice that you know it's lacking something so today the first thing i want to go over is what can you replace certain products with the first manufacturing backordered product would be the Osmosis Boost. This is a peptide activating spray. You use it with your really any serums, obviously, especially the Osmosis ones, but it's such a great mist that you can use with any skincare products. And it does utilize hyaluronic acid and different peptides, mainly tripeptide 5. And unfortunately, it is backordered. While it's on backorder, I have two options for you. One of them would be the Osmosis Infuse, which is their other activating spray. The main difference between Infuse and Boost is one Boost is a hydrating mist and it utilizes peptides. So very much like the Truth Treatments Biomimetic Mist, which um, this is a great also alternate to that if that should ever go back ordered. Infuse uses liquid fulvic minerals. While Boost is super hydrating because it has that sodium hyaluronate, Infuse does not have that. So if you're somebody that leans a little drier, then I would highly recommend the Sanitas Moisture Mist. Both of these are for product penetration, for making sure your products absorb deeper into the skin, for product massage, and they're both loaded with nutrients to make sure that your skin is performing at an optimal level. They just do it with different ingredients. So again, like the Boost, the Moisture Mist from Sanitas also has that sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid. Boost and the Sanitas Mist, the Sanitas Moisture Mist, also have ingredients that make your skin barrier uh, more protective. Basically, they have ingredients that strengthen the epidermal layer. In the Sanitas Moisture Mist, it uses beta-glucan. Beta-glucan is one of my favorite ingredients. Beta-glucan helps to fortify the skin and strengthen it especially if you have sensitive skin you're gonna really love beta glucan and of course the sodium hyaluronate in the moisture mist now the infuse because it has those liquid fulvic minerals of course minerals fulvic minerals are so great for the overall health and radiance of our skin Fulvic minerals are great. They're bioavailable for our skin, help with the overall cellular function. So both of these are great replacements for Boost. So like I said, you're gonna get skin strengthening ingredients from both of these. Uh, you're gonna get great product penetration. The main difference is, unlike Boost, Infuse does not have the sodium hyaluronate. So instead, if you do lean more dry or you like a really hydrating mist, I'll do the Sanitas Moisture Mist. The next question I get all the time is about Emma Pell. And I do have a dedicated Emma Pell video coming up, but I wanted to address certain questions that I get routinely via email or through direct messages, which by the way, I am really bad at checking. So I apologize if you are somebody who messages me on social media. 
I am always running around here like crazy lady. So I apologize. I wish I could be on social media more, but hopefully soon. But in the meantime, I apologize. So Emma Pell, oh my gosh, I love Emma Pell so much. Like I said, I have a dedicated video coming up because it's so good. First thing I wanna talk about what Emma Pell is and what it isn't. So Emma Pell is for estrogen deficient skin. People always ask, well, how do I know if I'm estrogen deficient besides doing like, you know, a biopsy and seeing how many receptors I have on my skin? Well, how many people are gonna do that? So basically this is what I tell people. If you use all of your important vitamins and you still have no glow, so you're on a fantastic vitamin C, you're exfoliating, your skin's healthy, or your skin should be healthy, it should be radiant, it should be glowing, you're using vitamin A, growth factors, vitamin C, and it's still dull and lack luster, that is a huge key that you have estrogen deficient skin. When you're estrogen deficient, you're lacking a glow. Those receptors in your skin turn off and it makes your skin look really dull and lackluster. So that for me is usually what I tell people. Have you used all of the important vitamins? Are you feeding your skin nutrients? And do you still feel like you're, you've lost a glow? You're not getting a glow and you're, you should at this point if you're using all this great skincare. You're probably have estrogen deficient skin. First, Emma Pell is for perimenopausal and menopausal and slightly postmenopausal skin types. So usually when I recommend Emma Pell and you haven't hit menopause, people are like, oh my gosh, Leah, like why would you recommend this for me? I have not hit menopause, I'm so far from it. I say like, that does not have anything to do with it. You can be perimenopausal and need products like Emma Pell to really kickstart your skin. You don't lose, you don't start losing those uh, receptors in the skin once you're past menopause. It happens much more before. So treating it prior to is going to be great and you're really gonna get great results. So don't let that scare you. I think because it is marketed for people like in menopause, post-menopause, trust me, perimenopausal, meaning before menopause, really that's my favorite person to put on this product. MEP is a super unique ingredient and it only acts in the skin. It is not a hormone and it does not affect your hormones anywhere else. So it's strictly on the skin. So that's another question I get, like will it affect my hormones, my thyroid? Absolutely not, you not have to worry about that. There's actually no hormones in the formulation. There's no actual estrogen in the product. It's not a hormone replacement and it cannot cause any effects anywhere else in the body. This is not a systemic product, meaning it's not going to go anywhere else. This strictly stays in the skin, on the skin where you apply it. Next question I get is, do I have to use both of them? These were formulated to use together. You should use the serum in the morning, the cream at night. Some people have a little bit of reaction with the cream, so I tell them to, when you can't use the cream, if you wanna use the cream like three nights a week to start, use the serum at night as well. So, until you work up to being able to use both of these products, at least use the serum AM and PM. For best results, you do need to use both. It's like just doing diet, are you gonna get results? Absolutely, if you're doing just exercise, are you gonna get results? Sure, if you put diet and exercise together, that's where the, the fireworks happen. So these were formulated to use together. So I highly recommend, if you're gonna make the investment and really treat, truly treat estrogen deficient skin, you're gonna need both of these products. I took a call last week from somebody and they were like, I didn't purchase it from you. I could not get anybody on the phone from where I purchased it, true story. And so I'm calling you because I saw you are a authorized retailer. I have used this with my Retin-A and my skin is red, it's inflamed, it's reactive. That is exactly what's gonna happen for most people. You should not use this with tretinoin or Retin-A. All the literature and training I have done has said, do not use this product with high doses of vitamin A. So that's what I'm going to say in this video. It's probably why a lot of you have tried this product and had reactions from it. Because this is actually a very hydrating product. Um, it's really, really great. It has tons of really great nutrients in it besides the um, MEP that's in this for the estrogen deficient skin. This is like a great all-in-one nighttime cream. So if you're having reactions, it's most likely what you're learning with it. So, as I said, AM, PM, great results. If you cannot use this product because it is really, really active at first, use the serum, PM, every other night for a few weeks until you can work 
up to using this nightly. Okay, last question for this video is what can you add into your morning routine to make your skin look tighter, brighter, firmer, and you know, still work really well, play really well under makeup? And you're gonna love the Epicurean Instant Lift Serum. This is a tightening serum, and it's like really, really like nicely priced. Um, I think this is $60 retail, but I was actually shocked. It's like honestly, I thought it would have been more because this immediately gives you a really great tightening effect to the skin it firms immediately and then of course that's going to be long term as well this plays wonderfully under makeup and it's actually lightly hydrating so coming into summer i think a lot of you are really going to like this product the reason i wanted to mention this was because i've had a lot of people recently say i'm on the core four which the core four for me is vitamin a vitamin c growth factors and an internal collagen supplement so what can i add to this routine to get even better results when I get into those like specialty products, you know, not so much this would not ever replace your core four. This is something that if you wanted to add into your routine for even better results, it's almost like a wingman for like the main guy. You know, this is your wingman product. This would not replace anything. This is just strictly to have even better, more consistent, healthy skin. This serum actually got a little like socially famous because I think Kate Bosworth mentioned it on her Instagram, how she uses this and like it in immediately like firms her skin. The firming ingredient in this is oat kernel extract and it has a high molecular weight so it doesn't penetrate deeply like other ingredients. So it sits on top of the skin and it immediately firms the skin on contact. So when it creates that layer on the skin, you're going to have an immediate firming and lifting. So it, it, you know, you apply it, it does not penetrate deeply that ingredient anyway, and it immediately firms and lifts and tightens and it doesn't move. It doesn't slide. Like it works really, really well with all your skincare. So it has a high molecular weight, meaning it doesn't penetrate deep into the skin. The next ingredient for tightening and what I really like myself about this formula is seaweed extract so this one does go a little deeper into the skin for even more firming and tightening this one lo works long term though so while the first ingredient was on contact this one's going to be one that's going to help with those long term tightening improvement so long term it actually helps to tighten the connective tissue in our skin that as we age start to loosen and we get a little bit of laxity or a lot of laxity um this is going to help to strengthen those connective tissues seaweed extract also helps with oxidative damage it helps it helps with the formulation of collagen one so of course we always want uh ingredients that are going to help with collagen synthesis forming collagen tightening and strengthening connective tissue lastly peach extract is the standout ingredient in this formula which again is just going to help long term uh, maintain the integrity of the collagen so that it can remain tight and lifted the peach extract also has vitamins, nutrients, vitamin B, and minerals. So you're just going to get such a great formulation in this. And I think you're really, really going to love this in your morning routine. You're going to get that immediate tightening, plumping, and firming. And then long term, it's going to strengthen the collagen and the connective tissues in the skin. So... I hope this video was quick and fun and informative. If you guys have questions, please leave them below. And hopefully I can do another fun video like this again. And um, I'll make sure I bring some studio lights and makeup next time. Thank you guys for being here with me. I appreciate you all so much. Bye-bye. And I know I have this huge pimple right in the center of my eyebrows. And of course I had to pick it because I am a human right before this video. So um, it's going to be the star of this show. So yes, I'm aware I didn't have anything to cover it up. I'll be better prepared next time. <laughs>